What's up, friends? Daily Dub, Saturday edition. Seductive Steve with me on the Daily Dub, making this a uh, <laughs> seductive Saturday. And uh, this is your final installment of the week of Dub, if you consider a week, Sunday to Saturday. We'll get a Dub Life tomorrow. Uh, and on this seductive Saturday, I have one question to answer that we'll talk about quickly, and then we'll get on with some other stuff. Uh, so MJR 1974 asked me this again, another one from a while back that I forgot to answer, but he, uh, asked me about how do we get an iPhone every year? Um, and Steve, I think is on the same kind of plan that I am now. Uh, so he does the same thing, but, uh, about three or four years ago, uh, m at least Verizon, you're on, are you still on Sprint? I'm still on Sprint. And uh, Apple, directly, if you go to Apple Store, uh, created like some version of a plan called iPhone for Life. I think that's what it's called at um, Apple. But it's basically where you're leasing a phone. Um, you've always been leasing a phone, whether you want to consider that that way or not. When you do the thing where it's like, oh, I'm eligible to upgrade in two years, you're making payments on it. You can turn it in and get a new one at the end of two years, just like you could a lease. Or you can pay it off and keep it, just like you could a lease. Same basic premise uh, with a vehicle. Uh, and that's how this works. So you get a device payment plan um, added to your bill. The only difference is it's transparent. It's a line item on your bill. You see I'm paying $22 a month for my iPhone or whatever. In kind of the old model, it's just, oh, I pay 60 bucks a month for my phone. That's what I pay. Instead of it saying $22 iPhone, $38 cell phone plan or whatever. And it basically works that once you've reached 50% of the value of your phone, which if you buy a new phone in September at new iPhone time or new Android phone time, it works with everything. Uh, the next September you'll be at 50%. And then you could say, hey, I want the new phone. You hand them your old phone, they give you the new phone. Your payment basically stays about the same. Sometimes it may change a dollar. Um, unless you decide to go up double your storage, I want a bigger phone, whatever, uh, and then you can just keep doing it. My, I've had that family plan for all of my family for man, at least four years, and uh, most every year we just turn it in and get the new phone. Uh, this last year, though, because my, um, everybody else in my family did not want to give up the home button yet, they didn't, they weren't ready to move to the buttonless, uh, like the way the iPhone X, iPhone XS are, um, they stayed on their eights. So theirs will actually be paid off in September. At that point, you can choose to let that $22 a month or whatever that amount is just fall off your bill. And now you owe less. That never used to happen with cell phone providers. Right? You just keep paying the same amount and you'd be getting the shaft right up in the nose. Mm -hmm. um, I like to have new technology. I think about my phone as probably the most important uh, thing that I have. I do all my filming for YouTube on it. I work extensively on my phone when I'm in the airport and all this stuff. Uh, you know, do it all the time. We're piddling on our phone. When you think about it's bad statistics, but when you look at the statistics of how often Americans are on their phone right now, it's a bad number, but it's also like three, four, five hours a day. That's like the most important thing that you have um, in terms of your how you use it. So I like to keep it current. Steve, do you like having uh, that plan that you're on? I'm going to have some energy drink. <laughs> well, I do. Um, Sprint, though, is, Sprint in general for me has been kind of a bit of a roller coaster. I've had them for a long time. They've been very consistent in their plan. Um, but this, like, I just got this iPhone, um, the iPhone 10, and I've leased it. I've paid like an extra 41 a month. And, you know, for 12 months, you get used to budgeting that. But, um, but, I think that when we calculated it um, to begin with, I was actually I was not getting the full value back. Yeah, you had some issues with Sprint not... You weren't getting the best possible the, plan for some 18 months instead an 18, of 24 months. It was an 18-month lease, and after 12 months, I get a new upgrade, which yeah. means... That Sprint was doing a month thing and not a percent thing, yes. and they were... So he'd actually kind of get shafted a little bit. Right, so... I mean, it was kind of one of those things where I was like, well, whatever. And a lot of things, you got to look at your details. If you're on um, some of the carrier, like T-Mobile's disrupted so much of this, but when we're talking about a few years ago, when Sprint and T-Mobile were kind of competing at the the, the kind of mid-tier, 
So like I think about like the tiers of cell phone plans, you have like the prepaid world or like the the things that are kind of local to your city that don't exist everywhere, like cricket or some of those things that um, you may run into service issues if you travel a lot like I do, or there may be additional fees. And then you get to like the Sprint, T-Mobile, which are national carriers, um, but have some other, like you're trading off some other things. And then like Verizon and AT&T, you're paying a lot more for potentially. Um, but they're doing things differently. So sometimes, like a carrier like Sprint, they're going to find a way to get that money a different way. And you like got to pay attention, too, um, to every month and to when your lease is up, whatever, because I'll go ahead and tell you now, um, I my lease finally was done, um, and I can go ahead and start making payments to own my phone. Yep. Well, I was a month late to tell them that. And I paid an extra an extra month, yeah. for just like most months. things, they're not going to proactively right. tell you we you, you don't owe us money anymore. You got to pay attention, you know. So, and also too, my iPhone 10 has gone down in value, I believe, yeah. like significantly. So I've been paying. Now it's a great phone. I mean, so I don't have regrets necessarily getting it, um, but it's not the same value as it was. So when the I way I look at this is, if you're going to keep your phone longer than once you've paid it off, that's the path to go. You're good, right? If, if once you pay it off, whether that's two years, 18 months, 36 months, whatever, you're immediately going to want the new phone. Well, you should have just got the new phone at right. the one year because it, 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 you're not making any difference. You just spent a year right. without a newer thing. Unless you don't want it. Like in the case of my parents, they didn't want the the other one. So like what will happen here in September is, you know, we'll have a decision to make with the family of, well, you have this iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, whatever they have, that's paid off now. So the cell phone bill can lower. Is it still working fine? Which it probably will be, right? At least for what my parents' usage is. Um, although my parents are going pretty good with technology. Or do you want to get the 11 or whatever it's called? Uh, so we'll just see how that goes. But uh, so, NJ, I hope that helps that answer your question. Um, cell phone plans change rapidly, rapidly. I mean, there are sometimes what is available will change three, four months, at three, four times in a year. And that's such a competitive landscape. And again, T Mobile has done a lot of disruption where they're buying people out of packages, they're offering all these incentives. Um, you know, we used to be with T-Mobile and we weren't satisfied, but T-Mobile's improved their brand. So that, you know, talk, there's lots of resources online. I'd be happy to talk to somebody about it because I, I, I study that stuff pretty carefully. So I know that's kind of a different topic, but I want to answer that question. So we have Seductive Saturday. Steve probably doesn't feel very seductive today. No, I, I know at like one in the morning last night, I heard some type of, Large flatulence and no coming from his room. That is Brian. Is Brian has the Sono speakers that he controls what? on his phone? What? And he he played in full blast what? in my room. While I was trying to sleep. Full blast what? And played a bunch of flatulence and stuff on the speakers at full volume. That wasn't Scared. your flatulence? No. Why Scared did I the hear? Crap out of me. About, oh, safety. No. About, I thought you had pooped had, the bed. I had flatulence in most of my pants. Oh. Oh. My oh. Well, that happened. And um, I'm having an energy drink. We are about to meet the Dew Dog for breakfast. Yes. And uh, hopefully hook up with some other friends throughout the day. But we're on punishment, so we're not sure if that's going to happen. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to have a good day. I'm confident of that. Uh, I do believe that, Steve, you need a little oh, safety. And we'll talk to you later. There's a big dub life that you're going to enjoy with Steve eating all of the... Ooh. You know what? Squeeze it. Mm. Oh, he's not going to say it. Nope. <laughs>